the changing of the guard in the Archdiocese of Boston, Sean Cardinal O'Malley officially announced the man who will replace him will be Bishop Richard Henning. Pope Francis made the official appointment from the Vatican today. And as WBC's Jordan Jagelinzer shows us, O'Malley reflected on his two decades on the job as he prepares to pass the torch. This is the moment that makes the church. This is the moment that makes us who we are. Archbishop-elect Richard Henning introduced by Cardinal Sean O'Malley at a mass this morning. Named Francis as the seventh Archbishop of Boston. The Archbishop-elect will succeed Cardinal Sean O'Malley, the city's Archbishop since 2003, now retiring at 80 years old. I am so grateful to the kindness, the patience of the people of the Archdiocese who put up with me for 21 years. Cardinal O'Malley oversaw the most difficult challenge in the history of the Archdiocese, which he acknowledged today. When I arrived, it was a time of great crisis and great pain because of the terrible scourge of the sexual abuse. The Archdiocese of Boston, one of the largest in the country, and as it enters this new beginning, Archbishop-elect Henning says he hopes to help bring back people to the Catholic Church who may have drifted during that time. We trust that God is going to guide his church out of the kind of the morass, and, and I think uh, that's the faith that gives me hope. That, that So my job isn't necessarily to fix everything, it's more a matter those seeds. The 59 year old has been a bishop since 2018 and is currently the Bishop of Providence. While he notes he's sad to leave Rhode Island after just over a year there, he welcomes this new opportunity and looks forward to connecting with the greater Boston area these next few months. As I look forward now to this new ministry in the Bay State, I would like to offer greetings to the clergy, religious and faithful of Boston and to all men and women of goodwill. The official installation will happen on October 31st. In Braintree, Jordan Jagelinzer, WBZ News.